Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm just on my way to um, start a vlog down on the Whittle. Um, going to be taking some pictures of um, an old windmill and an old lighthouse in Bidston. But on route, I, um, I've come across a couple of strange animals which are spotted in a field. Another way you're just driving along and uh, you know, there's field after field of sheep and more sheep. And then all of a sudden, I saw, I saw this. Well, it looked like an ostrich, so I thought I'll double back and have a look. And yeah, it's here in a, it's in Ledgem. Uh, there's like a little farm on the side of the road, and it's full of uh, emus, goats, and pigs. So I couldn't resist. I had to stop and uh, take a couple of snapshots. Snapshots? A couple of snapshots. So uh, anyway, let's let, let's get back uh, to the main vlog. But uh, that was quite enjoyable. Hi, welcome to another vlog. This week, I've um, I've decided to stay pretty much around the area where I live. So I've just come down onto the Whittle, which is probably I don't know. 20 25 minutes down the road um, and I'm shooting um, it's a lighthouse but a lighthouse with a difference because it's um, it's probably about I don't know maybe two or three mile inland it's called a uh, Bidston lighthouse and observatory it's very picturesque I'll just spin around so you can have a quick look there she is there um, I'm currently doing a a long exposure And my settings are F9, ISO 100. I'm getting about a minute and a half exposure. Uh, on the front of the camera, I've got a 24 to 70 Canon L lens. Um, there's a, a 10 stop filter on the front, a 0.9 soft grad, just to get a bit of um, definition in the sky, and a, and a polarizer. So, as I said, um, I'm getting about a minute and a half exposure, so hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm just really waiting for a little bit of light to shine on it at the moment, but um, so far it hasn't happened, but I'm pretty sure it will. There's a few breaks in the clouds, so I'll just have to persevere. Um, after this one, um, just literally a couple of hundred yards up the road, there's an old windmill, and I want to go and see that as well. So um, keep tuned and um, see what we can do. Well, here we are, we're up at Bidston Hill, um, and on top of the hill there's a windmill. Ideally situated, because it's really high up here, um, and it looks quite impressive. If you go back in history, there's been a windmill here since uh, 1609. The original one was, um, was built of timber, and unfortunately one day um, it was really overworked with the wind, and it uh, caused a lot of friction in the sails. There was a huge fire and um, it burned to the ground. So um, they got round to rebuilding it again um, in the 1800s and it's been here ever since. Obviously it hasn't been used for quite a while now, in fact it's um, pretty much derelict. But it still makes a good uh, photo. Uh, there's not much interest um, either side of the windmill. So um, a portrait uh, shot goes really well here. And not only that, we've got a little bit of interest in the foreground. With um, there's a bench just on the bottom left, keep the windmill on the top right. Um, 
So hopefully it'll work out okay. I'll just go through the settings with you now um, that I'm using on my camera. I'm on uh, F9, ISO 100. I'm getting about a two minutes exposure. Um, got the same setup on the front of the lens, 10 stop filter, 0.6 soft grad and a polarizer. Uh, it should be quite interesting to see how these come out. Well, that's it for this week. Um, hopefully you've liked it. And if you, if you have, please give us a thumbs up. Hopefully the weather will uh, start improving over the next couple of weeks. So we'll be able to get out a little bit more. Um, last couple of weeks here in North Wales have been pff, dismal to say the least. Uh, Non-stop rain, heavy cloud cover and cold with it as well. So hasn't been ideal conditions, but hey ho. That's just life, I suppose. Well, anyway, like I said, I hope you hope you've liked this uh, vlog, and if you have, give us a thumbs up, please. And I'll see you on the next one. Till then, bye.